Joe, what do you think about Hong Kong? Mm, Hong Kong is a metropolis. We have a wellness stock market, we have a great business environment, we have good law and order, and we have enormous infrastructure. Hong Kong has created many achievements and I'm proud to be a citizen of Hong Kong. Definitely. But can you remember the build up in this Hong Kong? The older generation, indeed. They have made many contributions to Hong Kong when they're younger. It is the sweat and toil to create Hong Kong's success. Right. But most of them cannot enjoy today's thriving and prosperous. According to the statistic from the government, there are about 830,000 people in Hong Kong who is aged 65 or above, which occupies 12% of the population. But it is predicted that the number will rise to 2 million in 2033, which will be a quarter of the population. Nevertheless, most of the elderly nowadays are not living very well. Some of them may even face problems to maintain their usual living. It is not uncommon to see the elderly picking lever rod and suffering cans on the street. They may have tried to apply the social security allowance, but most of them hang back because of harsh qualification. Last year, the old age allowance, which is known as the fruit money, was announced to increase to $1,000. It would be a great help to them, but is that all we can do for the elderly? This is just a bill of conscience, but it shows you what love and care is. Mr. Lee chong Heng is the owner of this conscience shop in a public estate. Every morning, he offers seniors breakfast free of charge. His benevolent action was reported and praised by lots of people in Hong Kong. Why 就是做一些小事的東西 我未做之前,我就不覺得幫助,但是我家看到個別就是都需要你做,所以我更加覺得幫助,我覺得是幫助,我覺得是幫助。
Joe, I'm so delighted that there is someone like Miss Lin on phone. What he does is definitely showing his love and care to the elderly. He is really an idol of Hong Kongers. I agree. His devotion is not just giving them love, but also great help in the current financial climate. His spirit is what we should pursue, but what we can do for elderly around us? We are too young to do so. It's easy. Let's see what some of our peers are doing. There are Youth Unit 71 of Hong Kong Red Cross from Chong Shao Wan Clefis Secondary School. Every month, they will set up a health check station in Eun Chao Estate in Sham Shui Po. They mainly provide seniors with BMI tests and blood pressure tests. <laughs> So what's your job today? Well, um, today actually I'm helping the elderly to measure their height and helping them to measure their air pr um, blood pressure. Yeah, so uh, how do you feel this job? Is it meaningful or why do you help the elderly? Well, uh, I found this job rather meaningful and I want to give some time of mine to um, dedicate to the society, to help out our society. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel about this, uh, this activity? Um, well, um, I learned a lot from it and yeah, I hopefully I have Next time I will do it again. Mm. Do you think the teenagers in Hong Kong should uh, contribute uh, some of the time to uh, help the elderly to the society? Well, yeah, of course. You know, um, we are part of Hong Kong, and we should do something to Hong Kong to dedicate to Hong Kong. They are doing a meaningful job, right? And actually, all of us can do something for the elderly. For example, we can call our grandparents or we said elderly living alone in order to show our love and care to them. Today, open your mind and think again. Do something for our elderly, giving them love and support. Let's build up the culture of love and care and create a Hong Kong with love and harmony. Can you?